Shalom, and your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. I pray and hope that this be edifying. Before we start off, all praise, all honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. That's the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, the true leaders of the nation of Israel, and Shalom to you, hopeful elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Shalom. So, <clears throat> just wanted to make a quick video. You know, the spirit jumped on me to pretty much go into, you know, the women of our nation, okay? And I'll make many videos concerning our women, but, you know, the spirit is just on me to go into this real quick. All right, and I pray and I hope that this be edifying. So you had a blizzard, you know, that passed through, you know, the Americas. And uh, pretty much, you know, Yahabah Shemel Shai called up a lot of spirits back up to the spiritual realm, okay? And, uh, you know, some of the victims were women, all right? I wouldn't even say victims, you know, because the Lord, you know, he executes judgment on whom he will, you know. But, you know, some of the ones in whom Yahabah Shemel Shai called up to the spiritual realm is women, okay? It was a few women. I know one particular woman, as I hear, have here on the screen, you know, she passed away in her car, man. Pretty much froze to death, okay? But, you know, Yahabah Shemel Shai, he's about to execute a lot of judgment here on the earth, man. You know, nothing but evils is coming to this place. And, uh, you know, this video can be an edifying lesson to a, a aqua, you know, that uh, pretty much uh, uh, needs to hear this, man. Pretty much to stay in order, okay? But uh, I'm going to start off in the book of Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, rise up, you women that are at ease, man. A lot of our women out here, you know, and men as well. But, you know, just sticking to the topic that that's at hand, you know, a lot of our women are at ease, man. They feel very secure here in, in Esau Edom's kingdom, okay? And this all goes back, you know, to, to the beginning, man. You know, Eve and the serpent in the garden, man. But reading on, it says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. It says, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech, all right? And how do you give ear into Yahabah Shemel Shai's speeches is by way of his prophets, man. We're giving warning on the things that's about to happen here on the planet Earth. All the evils that's about to befall the planet Earth, man. The judgments of Yahabah Shemel Shai. Verse 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. So all the provisions, you know, all the all the food and aid that Esau Edom gives our, our women, you know, they're pretty much gadding abroad careless, man. The Lord called them careless. You know, you see our women uh, walking up the street at 12 o'clock at night with a mini skirt, you know, uh, twerking, you know, <laughs> uh, or, or, or like that, that uh, doggone wicked song from a... a, a What's her name? Uh, Glorilla, you know, that that wicked Eve, you know, pushing pushing the agenda of Esau, you know, pretty much uh, that one of her songs. She said at the red light, turking at the headlights or something like that, something along those lines, man. The Lord said many days and years ye shall uh, shall ye be troubled, man, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. So all the, the food and the provisions <clears throat> and the aid that Esau Edom gives our women, that's about to come to an end, man. That's about to come to a halt, you know. Esau Edom has created this kingdom to where our women, and I'm not just talking about so-called black women, I'm talking about all the tribes, man. Esau Edom has created a wicked kingdom to where our women feel as if though they don't need an Israelite man. You know, you know, they have the, the food stamps, the Medicaid, so on and so forth, man. They have all these things to where they feel like they can live comfortably without a man. OK, but we're coming into a, a time of evils, man. Jacob's trouble. OK, and which will consist of the hour of temptation. Esau Edom rolling out that MOTB, man. And you're going to need a man of the Lord. OK, but verse 11. 
It says, Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your, your loins. All right, so that's Yahweh Shemiah Shai talking to his daughters, man. That's the Lord telling you, Aqua, you sisters out there, man, who are who who believe, man, telling you sisters to 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 humble down and remain humble, okay? Because evil times is coming, all right. And as well as us men, we gotta humble down and, and stay right with Yahweh Shemiah Shai, okay? It's not a lesson to, to pretty much bash our women. It's pretty much to tell sisters to stay in order, man. To stay in order. You can see, you see all these other sisters, you know, you got, well, you know, other women of our nation, you know, you got a lot of them bucking up against the truth, you know, thinking that they, they that they can teach, all right, that they can op overstep the authority of a man, okay? Well, that's going against the order which Yahweh Shema Shai set up. So to you sisters that are doing right, stay in order, okay? Stay humble because we're coming into some evil times, man. So um, let me go ahead and play these videos. First, I'm going to play this. Are you mad because I drove in a, I rode in a land truck? No, but you know I know, bro, right? How you know him? That's the homie, baby girl. This is Goofy. That's the homie. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> huh? What gorilla huh? said? Huh? Go find some more. Huh? Go find some more. Oh, your thoughts. <laughs> What? Oh, go find some more. First I bet. I hear you. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm glad you do. I hope that worked too, though. Oh, yeah. Kane. Because he don't want your goofy ass. I don't want him. You want the car. I know you wanted the car. You wanted what came with the car. You don't want him. You wanted the benefits that he had. But he ain't got shit for you, Goofy. Well, maybe. He ain't got shit for you. Yeah, you want this? All right, then. You want this? Bro, don't even play with me. You want this? Don't play with me. Because I really want this right now. Stop the cap. <laughs> Don't play with don't me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Because now you're really getting like, the juice in your head. So, you find out your wife's cool. So there you have it. You had a, a, a Eve who pretty much was willing to step away from her man, you know, that she had for, uh, you know, basically the benefits or the, the, the money and the provisions of another man, which is going off, man. Basically willingly, willing to commit adultery against her husband, Okay. And now you have a lot of women in a, in that mind state, all right? That they can just walk away from this man and go deal with the next man. Well, that's not so, man. When you when you when you lay down with a man, that's marriage, man. That's your husband for life, okay? Now uh, let me get this. Micah seven and ten. It says, "Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me." Where is Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the street. So all the ease that's in this this wicked behavior, you know, adultery, uh, uh, um, pretty much don't want to uh, take heed to the authority which Yahweh Shemiah Shai set up. You know, a man being over a woman, well, she's going to be trodden down like the mire of the street, man. Jacob's trouble is not going to be a, a, a pretty time for men. How much more to women, okay? So, hey, we're coming to the time where all that pride that Eve have, not talking to you, Aqua, you sisters, okay? But all that pride that Eve have is about to come to an end, man. All pride for men, women, children, all that's about to come to an end, okay? But, um, you know, just wanted to get that. Uh, let me get a, uh, another thing, but I'm going to play this video as well. The Judgment.
the Lord out here, man, putting out judgment, man. The Lord on that the Lord ain't gonna look down, you know, and you, you committing wickedness, talking about the Eves, all right? The uh, the, the women of our nation, of the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Our women are the most beautiful women on the planet, man. But the Lord ain't gonna look down at your beauty and you committing wickedness and not judge you, okay? So uh let me get this because we know that two thirds of the nation of Israel is about to be judged, okay? Judgment judgment is gonna begin at the house of Israel, as the scriptures say. Alright? And most of the two thirds is gonna consist of women. You know, if you look up the statistics, women outnumber men, uh, uh was it seven to one, if I if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But uh let me get the book of Ezekiel nine and four. It says And the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So the Lord has his angel, all right, going through the midst of Israel, okay, talking about Jerusalem, that's the people before it's a place, going through the midst of us, all right, setting marks upon the men that sigh and that cry, and that, that mark. Is a, is a mark of exemption from judgment when you look it up in the blue letter, blue letter, okay? And I believe in the Paleo Hebrew, it's the wa, all right? And which means exemption from judgment, okay? So let's read on. It says, and these men are the elect, man. These men are signing a crime for all the abominations that be done in the midst of, man. That, hey, that, that woman being proud uh, of basically about to uh, commit adultery against her husband, that's an abomination, man. According to the law, that's death. All right? She should be put to death. Okay? But verse 5, it says, And to the other he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the, through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Let's see whom Yahweh Shemiah Shai told to the other angels to have no pity on, to spare him, to not spare him. Okay? Verse 6, Slay utterly. Old and young, okay. Old and young, judgment can get can get uh cast down to old to the to the elderly of Israel, and to the younger of Israel. It says both maids and little children, okay. Maids is going into a women, uh, women. All right. It says both maids and little children and women, okay. And I believe maids is actually when you look it up, I believe it's a young woman, if I'm not mistaken. It says, and little children, and women. So it's basically said women twice. Well, maids goes into young women, and, and, and little children, and women. So it listed women twice. It says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So judgment is about to go forth, man. The judgment is about to begin at the house of Israel, all right? Hey, so for you Aqua who's listening to this, all right, stay in order, man. Remain humble because we're coming into some evil times. And for you brother, you already know what time, for you brethren, all right, you brothers, you Akim, you already know what time it is. You stay humble as well, man. Stay right with your power. With your help, I, shim, I, was shy. I pray and I hope that this was edifying. Just wanted to get that off my spirit. You know, whatever y'all about Shemiah Shai put on my spirit, wanted to go ahead and put that on wax. And I pray and I hope that this was edifying, man. With that, Shalom.